Okay, so once again I came down to do the monthly test on our 30 kilowatt backup generator for my dad's greenhouses here. And I got this. Got an overcrank warning there. Battery is good. The starter was just replaced, so it's a safe bet to say that the starter's good. Although, the possibility still exists it could be bad, but when I heard the clicking noise coming from the solenoid here, I figured it had to be a bad solenoid. So I went up to my uh, good friends at CK Power here in St. Louis and picked up another solenoid for $30. Had it in stock as usual, that's why I go there. And uh, we've got an oil change done, we've got a new fuel pump. The other thing I noticed uh, is the block heater is not working for some reason. I don't know why, that's something I'll have to figure out and that's something we will need because this engine does not like to start when cold. And when I say cold, 50, 60, even 70 degrees could be cold and it's about 50-ish right now. So uh, even if I get the solenoid replaced, we'll be lucky if it starts, but it'll be a good test. So let's go ahead and get this replaced. Okay, solenoid's replaced. We have a good starter, new fuel filter, new fuel pump, new oil filter, new oil, fresh battery. <laughs> Got a Ford Motorcraft battery on there. It's just a good one I had sitting around. Uh, whoops, let's take these off here. Let's see if she fires up now. Despite no block heater, it's about 50 degrees. It got down to the low 40s tonight. So let's start her up. Hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. just a little bit quieter out here. <laughs> I'm going to turn these uh, heaters on, put the main breaker on, and put the fan switch in manual. Then, from the circuit breaker box close to the generator back there, as you saw, I'll be able to flip these on one by one and put a load on the generator. Load test it a little bit. These are... How many horsepower are these motors? I think they're like one and a half. One, where's it at there? Horsepower, 1.0, right there. I'm looking right at it. So we'll have five one horsepower motors running. Oops, this one's kind of... Well, this one's kind of messed up, stuck in manual anyway. Oh well, that'll have to be replaced. Well, we'll go back, throw the breakers one by one, and load test it.
Oh, good test run. Ran up to full engine temperature, uh, normal operating temperature rather, 180. And uh, the voltage looked good, oil pressure looked good, no overheating. I'd say this thing is ready to go, except for one thing. While I was test running, I uh, went ahead and pulled the block heater out to see why it wasn't working, and sure enough, I found some problems. Uh, found this box just here hanging loose. And underneath it, we have some serious electrical issues. As you can see, that got really hot. Just started melting it. There's one of the connectors. And then uh, this connector here was just hanging loose, which is why the heater didn't work at all. And don't worry, it's unplugged. So, uh, yeah, look at that. It's just crumbling. That's why it wasn't working. So I'm going to have to replace the heater. But that'll be in the next video.